when I began to discover and understand that God and the Holy Spirit was leading me in the area and direction of leadership, coaching, mentoring, and personal development, uh, from that moment, uh, literally the Word of God began to open up to me in a whole different way. Like for an example, somebody whom they feel God has lead them in the area of like maybe healing or, or you know, the deliverance uh, or casting out demons or, or in the area of operating the gifts of miracles, obviously uh, to them, the scripture, they're going to find every passage that's relating to that. For me personally, obviously, when that occurred, uh, what ended up happening is, you know, there's many various Bibles that are written and there's many different individuals uh, who have, you know, like their commentary in them. And uh, when the John Maxwell Bible came out, the New King James Version, I said, I got to get that because that's somebody I, I uh, personally respect. I, I read all his books. I read, uh, you know, follow, been following him and still follow him. Uh, and I've learned a lot from this individual. So uh, the biblical insight and principles that he shares uh, through the commentary and the golden nuggets in, in, in the Bible that I'm currently reading out of right now has blessed me variously. And, you know, uh, when we look at the life of Jesus, we can learn uh, many leadership principles from him. Many. And the, the one particular today I wanted to focus on is what I call the lust for status and position. This is something that we as God's children need to be very aware and spiritually alert to uh, because the Bible is full of various examples for those people who were lusting after power, after status, position, and we already know uh, what their, the end result was. They fell, whether it was a king, uh, whether it's any other individual, and uh, obviously the outcome and results were very negative and destructive. So this one particular moment where the Pharisees, the religious leaders, the pastors in the time of Jesus had an issue with Jesus. And they're like, man, look how many people are following him. How many signs and wonders and miracles he's doing. He's just, you know, his name's being spread around a lot more. He's just causing trouble. Uh, and, you know, he's just, uh, it, which is going to affect us. So in the Gospel of John, uh, chapter 11, uh, verse 48, uh, this is the conversation that the Pharisees had among themselves. This is what it says. If we let him, referring to Jesus, uh, if we let him alone like this, everyone will believe in him, will believe in Jesus. And then the Romans will come and take away both our place and our nation, which was not true. So here was a good example that these religious leaders, they were concerned about their place, about their nation, about their position, about their title, about their status. And as much as this may sound funny uh, in a humorous way, there's a tragic aspect to this example that we continue to see currently in the body of Christ. I've experienced that in my personal life, uh, uh, the, uh, the earlier church I attended, and, and I still uh, witness and observe this, where uh, you have many individuals, and not only within the body of Christ, just all, they're, they're holding on to their status, to their position, and as soon as they see another contender, as soon as they see somebody who can preach better than them, who can do business better than them, as soon as they see somebody uh, who's... Uh, much more successful in this certain sphere of their influence uh, they're more skillful all of a sudden that brother and sister in the Lord becomes a contender becomes somebody man I got, I got to get rid of him I got to get rid of her this person can't work for me or with me this person can be part of my ministry team or even part of my church and obviously that creates uh, a lot of issues and a lot of problems and I personally experienced that and I've uh, I've shared these examples in my other videos uh, where I became that type of uh, individual that I guess, you know, uh, I, I was uh, supposedly in the eyes of that other individual, I was like a contender, I was like a challenger. It's like I was trying to go after their position and status or after their own wallet, which wasn't the case. But anyway, uh, as I finalize this, I want to leave you with this thought that it's very important for us to understand that all the authority comes from our Heavenly Father. So whatever authority we may have upon this earth, whatever status, whatever... Um, uh, whatever uh, sphere of influence that God has given us. You could be uh, an owner of a huge company with like a hundred or thousand employees. Yeah, sure, you played your own part in that, but you have to keep in mind, you being as a child of God, that God uh, blessed you. God gave you the necessary knowledge and skills, the network, um, the connections, uh, just a favor upon you. Uh, you could be a pastor who, you know, who has a huge church uh, or somebody who has a great social media following, an author, uh, a musician, it doesn't really matter uh, what gifts uh, and capabilities and skills you may have. At the end of the day, we need to understand that heaven is his throne, but earth is his footstool. At the end of the day, we need to give our Heavenly Father the glory. Because if we're fighting 
on behalf of our certain status, on behalf of our own position. Well, I've been in this church for since 1800s, you know, this is my, my seat that's been there, that's got my butt cheeks already imprinted in there. You ain't going to be sitting there. No one's going to take my position status. We need to be very, very, very careful with that because God knows how to deal with such individuals who are very prideful and God knows will know how to deal with us if we're holding on to something that we're not supposed to be holding on to because in everything that we do we are stewards remember that word stewards not owners because just because we're good at something it doesn't mean we take ownership over it yeah we are responsible in what we're doing we are accountable uh, with what we're doing but at, like I said at the end of the day we need to give him all the glory and not like the Pharisees who always had an issue with Jesus that he was stealing his sheep the church members which wasn't the case all right hopefully this was a blessing to you my friend until next time